Okay, so our next task is to address our problem with sending our comments to every single activity, no matter which activity someone's connected to. So we do have a facility in Signal R to address this. And let's go to our chat hub, first of all, to take a look at what's going on. And when we send a comment, what we're doing here is sending it to all of the clients. So any client connected to this particular hub, and every time an activity, is browsed to, it's going to make a connection to this hub. So no matter which activity it is, it's going to receive this particular comment. And what we need to do, instead of using clients.all, what we can use is clients.group and send the messages just to the groups that the activity belongs to. So each activity is going to join a group based on the activity ID. And then we're just going to use the clients.group to send it to specific activities. So let's go ahead and add the codes to enable this functionality. Now we're going to need two methods here. We're going to need a public async task, and this one's going to be called add to group. And what this is going to do is take a string of the group name, which is just going to be our activity ID. And inside here, we can say await groups, and we can say add to group async, and then we can get the connection ID. So we'll say context.connection ID and then we specify the group name. So when we create our hub connection to the client, the first thing we're going to do is check the activity ID and call this particular method or invoke this method from the client. And then we can say await clients.group and then we pass in the group name and then we'll say send async and we'll just call this particular method send because we'll make use of this on the client as well. And what we can do is create a format string. So we'll add a dollar and then we'll specify the username, which we'll need to put in here, has joined the group. And we need to go and get our username. So what we'll do is we'll just take the code in here and we'll just use the quick fix and we'll extract this into its own method. And we'll call this get username and just copy this and overwrite this. So we're going to return our username from this method and populate it in this particular variable. And what we'll do inside here is just say var username equals get username. Now we also need the opposite to this. We also need to remove the activity or the person from a group. So we'll just copy this line or this method and we'll just change this to remove from group. And we'll keep the group name the same, obviously. And instead of saying add to group async, we'll use the remove from group async. And we'll keep the username and we'll just change the message in here. And we'll just say username has left the group. And then what we can do is we can come up into our send comment method. And inside our command, we have access to our activity ID here. So what we can do is instead of clients all, we'll say clients group. And then we just say command dot activity ID and we'll pass this into a string to match the group name, which is also a string. Now, the idea is that when a user browses to an activity, we're going to invoke the add to group and they'll be part of that particular group for that particular activity. When they click out or go back to a different page or go to a different activity, we remove them from the group and we'll add that functionality into our stop connection. So this is all the code we need on the API. And what we'll take a look at next is the code that we need on the client.